Today we have an awesome new set, the LEGO Movie 2 Welcome to Apocalypse Berg. It's a giant set, I'm super excited to build this set. And you see we get a lot of minifigures. We get Emmett and Lucy, Chainsaw Dave, that is actually Surfer Dave. Where are my pants guy? We get Scribble Cup, Harley Quinn, we get Batman in this super cool outfit. We get Green Lantern, we get Larry the Barista, we get Fuzz, we get Roxy and we get Mohawk. They all look awesome. And here you see Lucy in her hideout, love elements. And here you see Mohawk putting a tattoo on Chainsaw Dave. And where's my pants guy and Green Lantern are sitting in the spa. And we see Scribble Cop kicking the chair. And it looks like Batman captured Harley Quinn, maybe with the help of Green Lantern. And Chainsaw Dave has his surfer camper in the back. And you see Emmett went inside to take some coffee from the coffee shop. And here you see a sign where you have to go to the lookout, the coffee shop, the diner. You see a scribble cup in the back. And here you see Emma and Lucy enjoying in the rooftop diner. That all really looks super cool. And now we go to the big build where you see it from the back. There are so many layers, there are so many things to do. And you see in the top you can put Emmett and Lucy on the platform, the lookout platform, next to the flame. That's really awesome. Let's open up the box and let's see what's inside. At first we have some bags and there is even a separate box in this box with a ton of other bags. And as you can see, there are so many bags here, there are even double numbered bags. In total, there are 80 numbers, but some have double bags, so really a lot. This is going to be a very long and extremely cool build. I'm really excited for it. I hope you are excited too. And here you have the stickers with the instruction book. You see, there are really a lot of stickers and it's super heavy. It's super big. So let's open it up. And here when we open it up, you see first there are some things written about the movie itself and about the creators of the movie, the director, the co-director, the executive producer. And there is a lot written about all the designers, all the Lego designers that have been working on this set. And here you see how you actually can lift the model so you don't break it. There's a lot written about all these characters and I will tell you some of these informations during the build. And you see this massive book goes all the way to page 442. This is gonna be awesome. So let's open up the first bags and then we start with the build. And the first minifigure that we're building is Emmett. Emmett is wearing, of course, his regular outfit and he has two facial expressions. And you give him this awesome cup of coffee. He just went to the coffee bar to take some coffee away. So here we start with the base of the construction. So the base of this set is actually consisting about two parts, two big parts. So we're now actually gonna create half of the base. And then on top, we're gonna build some apocalyptic scenes. And then later on, we're gonna build the other half. And while we are building, I'm gonna tell you something about Emmett. Still as positive and perky as ever, Emmett continues to believe that everything is awesome. Despite living in the most hackish place imaginable, Apocalypse Burg. Oblivious to the hardship of residing in the crumbling dystopian wasteland, Emmett loves to start his day with a trip through town to pick up his coffee order, one black and one with a touch of cream and 25 sugars for Lucy and himself. Incapable of mustering a single grim thought, Emmett dreams of rebuilding the future and has secretly built the perfect home for his special best friend. That's of course Emmett's dream house. We built that set already, of course. You can find the video on my channel. And when you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos, then please subscribe, put on the notifications, that would be awesome. And here you see the mechanism for Scribble Cop's office. It's really cool play fiction. I'm gonna put the chair there, then he actually can kick it, and Emmett's gonna have a jump. <laughs> Stunt master Emmett. <laughs> And Emmett comes to join us, looking how everything is going to be built. I think he's enjoying his coffee. Big smile on his face. <laughs> and as you can see, we are closing all of the base. And this yellow structure is for when we go up, that we have a stabilizing point. 
So we are done with one half of the base. We first gonna build here on top and then later on we're gonna build the other half and then after that we're gonna combine the both and then we're gonna build even higher. <laughs> And here we're building Larry the Barista. And you see Larry looks very different from before. This Mohawk of course is very awesome. He has a tattoo on the side. And you see these cool shoulder pads. And he's actually wearing a gas mask. Or like a filter that is filtering the air. I really think he looks awesome. And the fun fact is that the tattoos that Larry the Barista has are actually the same tattoos that Chris McKay has, the director of the Lego Batman movie. And here we start with the build of Coffee Unchained, a coffee shop that Larry works in, and that Emmett goes of course to take his coffee. And we're gonna build two gas pumps. And these green gas pumps, they look awesome, but they are not for gas for a car. They are actually the coffee machine, so that's really cool. Really this wasteland that comes back everywhere in the set. That's really awesome. And even the prices are still onto it, that's cool. We have a little table at the front, and we have a sign at the side which you can order. And of course we have the counter. With a register, and a little coffee cup next to it. So everybody from Apocalypse Burg goes here to take his coffee. And we build another counter that also combines a refrigerator and a display. We have a red inside, so probably that's one of the things that you can order here. And you can eat. I'm really not so keen on that. But of course, these citizens that are living here in this wasteland, they can eat everything. But not for me, please. And also here, another coffee cup. And then behind the counter, we have a little ladder with a sign onto it. And then we start with the build at the front of the shop. Also with some signs on the coffee. And I will tell something about Larry the Barista. Long gone are the days when Larry could charge $37 for an overpriced coffee. Larry is now the chief proprietor and head barista for Coffee Unchained. Where his sole job is serving the civilians of Apocalypseburg with a bitter liquid that provides the only semblance of pleasure left in these dark times. And you see these pipes coming out of the wall. Really cool. And here we start with the build of the police office of Scribble Cup. And you see the pictures of Holly Quinn laying on the ground. So she's the fugitive that Scribble Cup wants right now. Super secret police on the side. Really written big. <laughs> and you see all these pictures that Scribble Cup is investigating. And the front of the office of Scribble Cup reminds me of the police cars from the Lego Movie 1. This black and white, and then of course the blue light on top. And actually I made a little mistake here, it need to be the brown pieces on top, instead of the red, red needs to be on the other side. So now it's more like a neat police car at the front, and we have a jail port in the middle, with the sign of a police office. And I will quickly tell something about Scribble Cup. President Business may have wiped the smile of Good Cup's face in the Lego movie, but he wouldn't get much use out of that smile here in Apocalypseburg anyhow. There isn't a trace of Good Cup left. So Scribble Cup's head now swivels from bad to scribbled. He has also reverted to his old bad habit of furniture flinging and chair kicking. Arr. And here we're building Scribble Cup. And also Scribble Cup is wearing these warrior shoulder pads. I see there's a very cool print at the back. And while, Scri and while Scribble Cup is standing in his office, we're gonna close the wall on the other side. And it's really cool, during this whole build, we're gonna have these container parts everywhere. I really like these parts, I think that they are awesome. And Scribble Cup comes actually outside to see what is actually happening secretly around the corner to see what we are building outside his office. <laughs> and of course, Emmett is very interesting to see what we are building. And Larry the Barista is gonna have a view from upstairs. And here on the side we're gonna create what for me looks like part of an airplane with all kind of busted windows. And 
And I really like the sand green and the sand blue color. And we put a pillar at the side and some broken glass down on the ground. And here we already built a second layer. And Emmett is standing inside the gym, so we're gonna build a gym around him. We have this Duplo boxing area, where we have this boxing ball in the form of a Duplo, which is actually really cool with these spikes. And in this gym we have a weight bench, for all the minifigures to get into shape to fight against the invaders. And of course this is a very cool way how to build the weight for the bench. And we have some cool stickers on the doors at the front. And while on the side it looks like an airplane at the side, this for me looks more like a metro or a train. And all the way on top it's going to be modeler, so all the buildings that are going to be on top you can take off and you can get into this one and play inside this one and also in the other one, so that's super cool. And here we put a ladder at the side so that you get upstairs. And I think these are some gas tanks to heat some things up in the coffee cafe. And you have a little fire at the side and everywhere some cool decoration. And we go to the next bag. And we start with the second build of the base. That's why it looks quite the same way how we're building this setup. There are a few little differences. And in the end we're gonna connect the both together and it looks really awesome. And then you also get a feel of how big this set actually is gonna be. And you see quite literally we actually have an easter egg over here. <laughs> this is going to be the place we're gonna have the sewer. And you also see a little arm of robot laying there. And I think it's really cool that this whole part is actually built up in this sand color and this tan color. It's really awesome. Are we covering everything up? And here you see there is the sewer place. So this is actually the entrance for the sewer babies. You've probably seen those already in the trailer or maybe when you already watched the movie. And also here's some construction to go up. We go build upstairs. And here we're building Roxy, also a citizen of Apocalypseburg. She looks really cool, really like a warrior. I think this apocalyptic look on the minifigures is really awesome. They really did a good job to find scrap and make this all armory and all with the leather and the iron elements. Really awesome. And meanwhile, while we're gonna build further, I will tell something about her. Roxy, this bruiser isn't afraid to stand her ground and is ready for a bit of rough and tumble if anyone dares to attack her town. So it sounds like a tough girl. And we have some fish hanging over here. So I think here we're building some ovens to heat up some fish. And we connect in the middle together. And here you see what for me looks like an oven. Also because the fish is hanging next to it. 
think we can heat it up here. But as far as I know, Apocalypse Burr is somewhere in the middle of all the sand and all the desert, so I'm not completely sure where the water of Apocalypse Burr will be to find some fish, but okay, we will see later on maybe. <laughs> And here we are going to build the spa. And this spa, this wellness area, is really cool because it's actually part of a set from long ago. It was a very big black truck. And I think it's very cool that the designers also took such elements and put it here and give it a completely different purpose. And here you see the number MT5571. That's the set number of the Lego truck. And here you see the soap in there. And here we have some water area at the side. I think that's really cool. And we have some stairs to actually get into the water. There's also some soap laying there. And as you can see, we partly build this truck up and we give everything another purpose. That's really cool. And you see the little skeleton laying underneath. Curious how long it actually is laying there already. See there's some shower area at the side or some washing area where the water is coming out. So that's a really cool part of the build. And now we go to Surfo Dave, and Surfo Dave actually got a new name, Chainsaw Dave. So he became a little bit more aggressive. <laughs> I think the Chainsaw Dave also looks really cool with the tattoo of a chainsaw on the side. <laughs> Laid back no longer. Surfo Dave now goes by the Gnarly name Chainsaw Dave. Those sketchy Duplo aliens have wiped out any opportunity for him to surf. So dried up Dave is letting out his frustrations by getting choppy with a chainsaw rather than ripping through the waves. And we're gonna build actually the place where Dave is actually living. It's like a surfer van. Also this is very cool, it's also a reference to a set of course, the creator set of the camper van. They really give a lot of it, even parts of the instruments up front. And we have some broken windows at the side. And still the big window up front, but of course the wheels by now are gone. <laughs> With the roof on top. It's nearly a complete fan, so I think that's very cool to put it here in the side. And some reference, of course, to the surfboards that were before. We have these pillars, and we already started building a ladder to get onto the roof and onto the next levels. And I'm sorry that here it's a little bit out of focus, but you still can follow the build. And of course another reference here on the right, the colors of Octane, the gas station in the LEGO universe. And we connect the two bases together, and you see this is gonna be an awesome big set. And here we build a really awesome figure. Of course, this is Batman, and Batman looks amazing with these shoulders. It are these half wheels that are covering his shoulders. I think this costume is really awesome. Also, dual molded legs. So, let's tell a bit more about Batman. Self presumed leader of Apocalypse Burg, Batman has no problem fitting into this darker, gritter world that now surrounds him. Kited out in his custom forged battle armor, he arrogantly proclaims Apocalypse looks good on me. Perched above his purpose-built bat bunker, Batman directs the battle cars to attack. When they once again roll back defeated, he is there to ultimately swoop in and save the day. You're welcome. Meanwhile, we created these pillars to construct the whole support system for Lady Liberty. And here we put a little ladder to actually click a board on. You see the sand cream color is coming everywhere. I think it's really a nice color. Looks really cool on the set. And 
And here we're gonna create a little area for Batman. Bat merch and so flying there. And also here come some parts of Lady Liberty later on. We have a little trash can in front of the police office with a skeleton hat. And I think this open box with bad merch is also a cool detail. And probably you recognize the Batmobile, because that is what we are building right here, the front of the Batmobile that's going to stick out of the building. That's really awesome. Also here with the sticker, Batitude. Of course also a very cool detail, but you see it all over the place. So many details, so many references to other sets. And here we attach this above the facade of the airplane. And now we're making something really cool. I think this design for this backboard of this basketball net. I think how this is built is really cool. And this barbed wire hoop is of course awesome. And here we're having Fuse, and Fuse is wearing this eye patch, already makes him really rough and tough. Then also this helmet looks awesome. So Fuse, this mask warrior, has the shortest fuse of the gang. There is no messing with him, one false move and he is gonna blow. Well, very aggressive guy I think so. <laughs> so here we have again some technical construction, we're gonna connect the whole arm of Little Liberty onto. And as you might have seen there is one whole difference between the technic bars, so we're quickly gonna repair that. And now we're going to connect everything together with these Technic pins and the whole Technic construction. You see some plates connected to some Technic bars to give some details. And we are building some more construction support with these Technic bars and pins to hold up the head and the whole arm of Lady Liberty. And the slight differences in color show the wear and tear of this whole construction, which I think is really cool. It makes the whole building alive. And we connect all the Technic construction inside together so that it's very strong and stable. Before we're gonna close it up with all the green decoration on top of it so that it looks nicely from all around. Some more of these sand green panels. And here we have a little construction area for fuzz. And fuzz is interested in what we actually are building there. <laughs> so something that looks like a gas tank, a very big toolbox and tool cabinet. And here we connect the middle deck pins together and that's just for the viewing experience as I open it back up. I 
and we are of course building up the sides. And this nice construction for it the side to give it some beautiful nice round detailing. And some ladders so when you want to get up there are some possibilities for that. Also here the side construction connects to these Technic pins. So as you already noticed, there are a lot of Technic constructions involved in this set. The whole middle construction is made with these Technic pins for Lady Liberty to put her arm up and to hold the flame. So what we are creating here from all these Technic elements is the arm of the Statue of Liberty itself, where it's going to hold the torch with the flame. And everything is clicking in nicely. We have a bar at the side. We're going to cover it up with some plates and then for the detailing we have some slopes. I put a long ladder here at the side. I think this is a lookout post here at the side. And here we have one of the amazing exclusive minifigures, Harley Quinn, and I think she looks awesome in the design of Suicide Squad. I think she looks really amazing, all the printing is awesome. And we have this very cool pad also with some printing. This Trixie Troublemaker has ditched the rogues of Gritty Gotham and now ganged up with the ragtag ruffians of Apocalypseburg. Harley is fitting in well. She is pretty handy with a baseball bat, so she's great at keeping those brick munching baddies at bay. Harley admits she has been tied up in some crazy capers in her time, but Emmett's rescue plan sounds like an absolute suicide mission. <laughs> That's a funny reference. There's some bad merch as detail. <laughs> and here you have a better view of the Octane tank that I was talking about before. And here we're creating the tablet of Lady Liberty. I think it's a very cool design how they constructed this part. And of course Lady Liberty is holding this tablet in her hand, so we are constructing a hand with some fingers to hold the tablet very tight. That really looks very cool. Also the tablet is gonna be a platform to cross to the other parts. I will click the tablet in place, in the back it goes into the statue and underneath it has these two pillars to rest on and connect with the Technic pins of course. And Batman is having a nice view from above. And we have a railing with some lights at the side. And we have some more ladders with some railing to get upstairs. 
And while Batman is having a look on the tablet, Hamlin is going upstairs. <laughs> He's very curious to see what's everywhere. <laughs> We're going to the next figure, that's Mohawk. And she's also wearing this apocalyptic outfit, this warrior outfit, these leather straps, all this crap that she found. And the painting on her face is also really cool. Just as prickly as she looks, this spiky civilian has a point to prove and she is not going to rest until she has poked those annoying aliens right back to wherever they came from. And here we start building another floor. And in this floor we're gonna have two shops. And on this side, what we're creating here is a tattoo shop and barber shop. So the tattoo and barber shop needs a chair. Very cool old style chair. And it looks like these are some mannequin hats. <laughs> I think it looks really cool, the steel construction everywhere. And on the other side we have an armory shop where you can buy yourself a completely new outfit. And of course there is a reference to the Justice League here on the shield. And I think that you can even buy a trap here at the side. And here's some weapons at the back that you can buy to attack the aliens. This actually looks like a sort of bunker at the side, really an attack point. And of course the tattoo shops need a tattoo machine, <laughs> so that's what we're building here. Uh, putting it at the side of the chair, so that's where all the civilians get their tattoos. And some spikes that everything looks tough and we put some guard rail at the side and you still can buy some papers over here with the news of apocalypse Burke, probably about the newest attacks of the aliens and we have a very cool sign over here coffee unchained the famous coffee house in apocalypse Burke where Larry the Barista is working. And here we're constructing some pipes for some more detailing at the side. And you see some scissors, so this is also the barber shop. And with these doors you can close the container at the side. I think these container constructions are really awesome. And on this next level we have a cool detail here at the side. This is a cool reference, this motor block was actually a reference to a Marvel set, the Green Hulk versus the Red Hulk. And of course this Apocalypse Bird has been built with all the Lego that you can find everywhere. So I think it's very cool that you can find all these hidden treasures everywhere. And here we have Lucy, Lucy in a warrior outfit. Once a rebel fighting for a noble cause, Lucy's only mission now is fighting for survival. 
after enduring countless attacks from the Duplo aliens, Lucy is now hardened and battle ready. Keeping lookout from a surveillance tower on the torch of the crumbling Statue of Liberty, Lucy spends her time narrating her own grim thoughts while awaiting the next onslaught from those relentless greedy Duplo invaders. Despite her dark and broody demeanor, she still cares deeply about Emmett, but she's beginning to question whether he is tough enough to survive these troubling times. And here we're building the hideout for Lucy. And here you see these cool binoculars for Lucy to use. You also saw the in Emmett's dream house. Now of course, here is a little reference to Emmett's dream house because there's a little print of it on top. And we have a few crates and boxes everywhere. And there's a little letterbox. And a little love letter from Batman. We have a picture of Batman and a popular band. <laughs> I put all these details here in the crates and some black lipstick, all reminders for Lucy. I think this is a little bed for Lucy. And we have some pictures of Emmett and Princess Unikitty. And a second letterbox. A little curtain to have some privacy. And some barbed wire. A keep out sign. And there's some pipe constructions at the side to make it a bit more industrial. And of course some cool detailing to make a lamp with this harpoon. And this looks like a sound horn that we put in the upper letter box. And I think this is the ring of green lantern that we put down here. And we're gonna build one more layer on top. This looks like part of a bus that we can put upstairs. With a little water tower. And we're gonna build a very nice leather chair that we're gonna put at the side. So I think Lucy made herself a very nice spot over here. And another skeleton head I put here to keep everybody away. And I made a little mistake here. It's to be a black stud in between. Really stupid that I haven't seen that before, but quickly fixed. Now everything back together. Now we can be put on top of each other. That looks amazing. And we start building the head of Lady Liberty.
You can see the eyes and the eyelids are actually sausages in green. I'm building the lips. And here we're building the nose. We're slowly covering up the whole head. And inside this head there is actually a secret place on top. A little secret hideout for where are my pants guy. I'm gonna see that in a bit. Really very cool how to give the depth to this face. As you can see here, we have a little bat. And there's a place for coffee in the back. And here there is a reference, of course, to Where Are My Pants guy, but also to Planet of the Apes. And we have Lookout Claws. And this looks like a map where you see Apocalypse Burke in the middle, and then these invaders around. And here we're building Where Are My Pants Guy. Permanently trouserless, Where Are My Pants Guy still hasn't tracked down his missing trousers. And now that the world has descended into chaos, his search hasn't gotten any easier. In between the Duplo invasions, Where Are My Pants Guy can be found sifting through piles of roll in the quest to find his pesky trousers. And here I also made a little mistake, so these need to be one stud up front, then can be closed up again. Where are my pants guy? Gonna have a very nice view up front here, while we are closing up the back. And here we are constructing the crown, the Statue of Liberty. I put these cool spikes on top. The end of the spikes are actually made of this rubbery material. And here we construct these bars to put the crown a little bit up. So you see this is also a little hideout that you actually can see through and see the alien invaders. And we close up the head at the top. And here we connect it with these Technic pins onto the system, fits perfectly. And here you see we construct some parts of her hair that will come down. And here we're constructing the back of the head.
clicking here everything in position. You see some more part of the hair in the back of the head. And here we have Green Lantern, a very cool apocalypse style Green Lantern. Not exactly the sharpest tool in the Justice League toolbox. Green Lantern is always with the best intentions. But having lost his power ring in all the post-apocalyptic chaos, that hand isn't particularly useful anymore. Not letting that minor issue dissuading him, Green Lantern loves to tag along for the ride and latches onto the league. So we can hang on with his super bodies at any opportunity whether they want him or not. And actually we know where the ring of Green Lantern is hidden. In the little ladder box at Lucy's hideout. And here we're constructing the base of the torch. Of course we need a hand with some fingers, so that's what we're constructing right here. You see these fingers to grab around the torch. And there's a little railing on top around the torch. And here we're building the flame itself, the flame of liberty. It's cool that we work with these different colors to give it some detailing. Put the flame on top and actually normally this part would almost be ready but of course on top we need another lookout all the way in the top that you have a nice lookout all over Apocalypseburg and all its surroundings to see the alien invaders. So the platform I'll be constructing right here. And of course we need some guard railing at the side because we are very very high here. So when the minifigures would fall down we would have a catastrophe. And one finger of the Statue of Liberty has to go through this hole. To grab it at the top and actually holding this platform in between. Clicking it onto the arm. And we can put Emmett and Lucy up there. They are really high on top. But actually it's not completely steady yet. So here we have construction at the back. Now it's holding perfectly. And halfway the arm we have also a little platform with a ladder. And we have a longer ladder from the smaller platform to the upper platform. And in between the head and the torch, we're gonna have a little chain. So Batman can actually swing around Apocalypseburg, hanging on these chains. We have another chain with a spear all the way along the arm from the second platform down. But we're not done yet. We also have a little restaurant on the back, a rooftop restaurant. So that's what we're building right here.
I see this big V8 motor next to a frying pan. So it's heating it up with this little kitchen with a pan with a frying egg. And we have a little table up front with a stool, with a sandwich with part of a spear. Don't know if that's so very tasty. <laughs> we have a bar with some cool spikes at the side, with some more sticker detailing. With some ketchup and mustard over there. And I see that Roxy is very hungry. She goes from the gym upstairs. So when you're done with sporting and you just lost some calories and you want some new calories, you go upstairs to eat something. <laughs> And here we're building some more pipes to give it this industrial feel. That looks like there is some heating system somewhere inside. And we have a menu card here for the restaurant. And we put a hamburg with a spear and some decoration on top. And some stairs to get from the restaurant to the second area. Here we have a little bread. And we have a sword and a triton that we put here in the box. And here's some more guardrails at the side, some spears and pins. And here we're creating a little pole to show you the way to the coffee shop, the lookout, and the diner. With the skeleton head on top, wearing this mohawk. <laughs> Gonna put it here in the corner. And here in front of the coffee unchained, we have a little place to sit outside and actually enjoy your coffee. All surrounded by dust. <laughs> but it looks cool to have some detailing around, of course. And here we're constructing some sirens for in front of the police station. So when the alien invaders are coming, the sirens go off around the Buckleopsburg. And we're finally done with the build. When you stayed all the way till the end, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the whole build. I think this set is really amazing. There are so many details all around the set. I really enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video. When you want to see more videos, then please subscribe. When you want to share it with your friends, that would be amazing. It really helps a lot. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye.